concept of hybridization does not apply to isolated or individual atoms. It is a theoretical model that explains covalent bonding. Carbon atoms may only go three types of hybridization, sp, sp2, and sp3. Hi, this is Mr. B. In this video, I'll explain how carbon will undergo hybridization to form sigma and pi bonds. Consider the simple compound ethane, where two carbon atoms will bond with six hydrogens. In this compound, the carbon atoms will undergo hybridization. Each carbon atom contains a total of six electrons. And of course, four electrons are found on the valence shell. The electron configuration for each of the carbon atoms is 1s2, 2s2, and 2p2. And the orbital diagram will show a full 1s subshell, a full 2s subshell, and two of the orbitals in the 2p subshell are occupied with one electron. However, carbon may undergo hybridization, and in this case, sp3 hybridization, where the 2s orbital will blend with all three of the 2p orbitals. During the process, four equivalent orbitals are produced, where the electrons in each of the orbitals will possess the same energy. During this process, one of the electrons is promoted from the 2s subshell to an orbital in the 2p subshell. However, the end result will be four orbitals, all possessing the same energy. Thus, this type of hybridization is known as sp3 hybridization. In the compound, the resulting bond angles after carbon bonds to the hydrogens will be 109.5 degrees, which is characteristic of a tetrahedron. In the case of the unsaturated hydrocarbon ethene, each carbon atom still possesses six total electrons and four valence electrons. Obviously, the electron configuration will be 1s2, 2s2, and 2p2. The orbital diagram will once again show a full 1s and 2s subshell. And in the p subshell, two of the orbitals are occupied by one electron. Ethene is a compound that possesses a double bond. In order for a double bond to exist, one of the p orbitals from each carbon atom must overlap. In order to accomplish this and still form four bonds, the carbons in ethene will undergo sp2 hybridization, where one of the electrons from the 2s subshell is promoted to one of the orbitals in the 2p subshell. However, during this process, one of the 2p orbitals remains unhybridized. This will yield one, two, three hybridized orbitals in which the S and the P subshells have blended. This type of hybridization is known as sp2 hybridization, where the S and only two of the P orbitals actually underwent hybridization, and one orbital remained unhybridized. The result of this is the formation of a double bond. The green lines represent the bonds that are due to hybridization, and one of the lines is black. This black line represents a bond where an overlap is occurring between the unhybridized p orbital in each of the carbon atoms. The bond angles due to a double bond will be 120 degrees. Remember, the double bond will consist of a sigma bond and a pi bond, where the pi bond represents the overlap of the unhybridized p orbital in each of the carbon atoms. Ethine is an example of another unsaturated hydrocarbon compound. Of course, each carbon possesses six total electrons, four valence electrons, and an electron configuration, 1s2, 2s2, 2p2. The orbital diagram will clearly show a full 1s and 2s subshell, and the 2p subshell contains two orbitals where each orbital is occupied by 
one electron, and of course one empty p orbital. During the formation of that fine, only one of the p orbitals are actually hybridized with an s orbital. This type of hybridization is known as sp hybridization. During sp hybridization in an atom of carbon, two of the p orbitals will remain unhybridized. The two unhybridized p orbitals may now engage in overlap, where the end result will be the formation of a pi bond. In the case of ethylene, there are two pi bonds that are the result of the overlap of the two unhybridized p orbitals in each of the carbon atoms. The two hybridized orbitals, or the sp orbitals, are represented by a bond to the hydrogen, a carbon to carbon bond, and for the other carbon, a bond to a hydrogen, where the bond between the two carbon atoms will represent a sigma bond. In ethylene, the triple bond consists of two pi bonds and one sigma bond.